Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm Jeff. And I'm Dan. Welcome to the Board Game Rundown. Today, we are going to unbox Evil Dead 2, the board game by Jasco Games. They are the awesome people that picked up the licensing, did a new Kickstarter, and then as part of their stretch goal, basically anybody that paid for shipping from the failed original Kickstarter from the company that will not be named, <laughs> uh, they sent them a copy of the Evil Dead 2 board game. So we are going to open this up. A buddy of mine, Pete Stout, was one of the Originals. original backers. Yeah. Uh, and this was going to be a, originally was going to be one of those sad Kickstarter stories, <laughs> but turned out to be a pretty happy one thanks to the awesome people at Jasco. So, all right, to got start off, sleeve, huh? we've got the Necronomicon uh, box sleeve, which... For those familiar with the lore, that is made of human flesh. That checks out. Yeah. Right? I do like how before you unbox the sleeve, it's like just static, but then when you do, it's like, Argh! Yeah, yeah, you have awakened. No mouth. Yeah, now he's awakened. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Let's put those side by side real quick yeah. now that you're about to put that away. Yeah, See, look. exactly. So, sleepy time. Oh, now you've done it. Now you've <laughs> done it. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Kind of like asking Dan to help me with the show most weeks. Mm -hmm. It's like, that mm -hmm. was a mistake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this is a good sign. Here's a rule book. It's not super huge. I like that. Uh, looks like they break down with some appendixes towards the end. Uh, full color. Lots of explanations. So some of the pages are just all pictures and demonstrations. An ad for that. <laughs> For the, the extras. extras pack, and <laughs> on the flip side, Buffy the Vampire side of the board game, if you have any Buffy fans out there. And we do have the extras <laughs> pack, which we are going to open up as well. So this is a castle defense game. Is that what this is? Uh, I don't know. Is it? It looks like this is it, a cooperative castle defense game. I'm just going out of hmm. and guessing. So we've got some, some big old punch boards here. I like it. These look like um, references to what items do, which is cool. So there's axes, running shoes, pendants, flashlights, oh. cooked chicken. You discard that to remove three wounds from your character. Alcohol gives you bonus actions. That's I'll accurate. say. <laughs> <laughs> now, they may not be good actions, but they do give you extra ones. Um, cool, cool, cool. I do love when yeah, these board nice. game companies do reference sheets like this for their more complicated I mean, this is, stuff. These are insane reference sheets. These are nice. Yeah, they're good. I like it. Oh, that is a, All right. that's a big board. It is a big, big old board. board, and it looks like there's a bunch of bummers on here because these are all probably portals where monsters <laughs> spawn from, which means bad times for you guys. Yeah, see, that's what made it feel castle defense to me is how they have spawn spots all around the outside of the board there. All right. Oh, that's bad times. All right. All right, so I'm going to start handing you some of the minis. Yep. And since you have not seen the movie, I'm going to out you. You don't know what that means. What do you mean? Yeah, I do. Let's just say, I'm just going to say for those of you that have, don't leave that tree alone with a significant other. Hmm. Bad times. That's, that's, Woof. that's a scary <laughs> sentence. I don't like any of that. It is exactly what you were afraid of. Oh, okay. So look, we've got some, uh, these cards, they're human on one side, right? But flip that over. Yeah, flip some of these over. <laughs> Corruption. Whoa. Corruption. All right, so there's a bunch of decent size. It's not that big uh, size of events. Corruption. A bunch of human They're and corruption. Coming. Oh, there's deadite. They're coming to get you, Barbara. So I think you're going to be drawing corruption cards, and then you're either human still or you become a deadite. Mm. Deadites are the zombie, like, oh, yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah. yeah, don't act like you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so here's uh, some of the characters. We've got Ash and Linda, Ed, Annie, Jake, and Bobby Joe. Um, Ash and Linda and actually Jake and Bobby Joe kind of look like they're characters from the movie. Ed dies so fast, I forget. Well, he even looks like not as a dead eye. <laughs> there's the, <laughs> there's the boss. Rotten Applehead is what they call him. Fantastic. So the um, the punch boards are really good. The card quality is okay. Uh, rounded corners, which is nice. Um, the miniature quality, I'm going to say, is fine. Passable. It's, 
it's um not as it's not near as detailed as like Simon or Peterson Games or Weta. But they seem to be um pretty steady. I was about to say this lady's head fell off, but no, she's carrying it, so that's cool. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't say that these are as durable as like my Blood Rage minis just by looking at them. But yeah, this, this one even has like a little uh, support oh. beam in the back. I think I think that's what it's supposed to be. I don't think it's a tail or anything. I don't. Yeah, you want to show that off? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that just didn't get removed during production. Yeah, that's my guess. But that's fine. I I think. <laughs> This is one of those things where if I think you're just happy to have an Evil Dead right, uh, yeah. uh, game. So as long as the gameplay is is pretty good, sure, I'm going to... You need them to resemble what they are so that you can get into the theme. Right. Right? And then you just need the game to be fun. Did you find Ash? Yep. Okay, yeah. That's the one you really need to show. He's got a boomstick. Does he have his chainsaw hand? He does. Ooh. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Oh, it's uh cousin it's, it. What's it called? Ash's hand. Cousin it. I can think on. of what it's called. <laughs> thing, thing. <laughs> yeah, cousin it has all the hair. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> oh boy, I haven't seen that since I was like eight. <laughs> oh boy. So I'm trying to see just by looking at these minis. I've been okay. showing Ash off for about eight years. I oh. think I have Linda and Jake There's over Ash, here. By the way, everyone wants to see Ash. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good. That's a good hero pose for yeah, Ash. That's it's pretty good. That's definitely Linda. Holding your chainsaw right above your head is dangerous. I, I mean, believe I that yes. this is a pre... There's two versions of Ash. I believe that oh, is a pre-chainsaw okay. version. Okay. I could be wrong. Is he wearing a hooded sweatshirt? No. no he's wearing like a V-neck. I will okay. say... Is this okay. dude's um, yelling? Hollered while v-neck. they're trying to look for Ash on the board, you see this. Th- there's a space for the cellar trap door. Uh-oh. But... I kind of wish you could. There's another board where it's like the the below space. You know? Oh yeah. You don't want to go in the cellar, anyways, man. I know, but I mean, it'd be, <laughs> it'd be like a fun, like little gameplay mechanic. I think. I think that's sure. Bobby Joe, and that's Annie Bobby Joe because she's got that knife. Oh, is that that's supposed to be a knife in her picture? <laughs> I didn't even. Yeah, know that. it's like a sacrificial bone knife. If All you'd right. seen the movie, you would know. Yeah, like fair. This pose. Fair. Like this pose. Actually, I think. I think there's three different versions of Ash. That's what it looks like. That's an angry Ash, boy. combat ready Ash, Linda, Annie, Ed, Jake, Bobby Joe, Henrietta. Oh. The hand. So they're, they're, That's a butt. they're evil versions. Oh, too. and then they're the evil versions. Yeah. Nice. Evil Ash, evil Linda, evil Annie, evil Ed, evil Jake, evil Bobby Joe. So, yeah, and then there's some dice in here that look kind of neat. They've got unique. New York? <laughs> unique. New York. Got unique some. New York, unique New York. I'm all, uh, unique New York. <laughs> what, what was <laughs> the middle the, part? <laughs> I don't I, 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 I can't remember. That's why I was like mumbling. <laughs> so it looks <laughs> like if you were to do a six sider, ones and twos are nothing. Three, four, fives would be chainsaws. And, six and is sixes the head. is the head. But yeah, not bad. I like the dice. I like the dice. And then let's um, let's throw these minis kind of back in here for a sec, and we will open up this extras box. Oh, you <laughs> failed. This game sucks. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Uh, so Dan's a deadite. I'm not a bloody Cylon. All right. So in the in the extras pack, we have a let's see. There's 13 more miniatures. There's a oh gooseneck Henrietta, awesome, mm-hmm. crazy deer head, four possessed deer, four possessed squirrels, oh, sweet, and two Kandarian demons. Which for those of you that have seen Army of Darkness should be aware of Kandarian demons, right? Of course. Yep. You haven't seen Army of Darkness. What Darian? I need to play bluffing games with you because you're clearly bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Mm-hmm. All right, you got the big ones, the bigger yeah, miniatures. Yeah, you want them back. Yeah. Yep. Event them in here final demon form. But the uh, the vacuum form tray in here is pretty good. I'd say uh, as far as inserts go, uh, pretty solid. Yeah, I'm a fan. 
It's, Give me an insert. It's very functional. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah, like, just a, like a super easy solution to keeping everything separate and together. And is it removable? It is. Yeah, that's nice. It is. That's it a nice. Right out of there. That's nice and easy. Pops right out of there. I didn't see that huge ass head. <laughs> yeah, with all the soles in the side of it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, you got to see Evil Dead too, man. I do. <laughs> All right, that's fine there. Yeah. So we got some more cards in the extras pack. So this is, oh, so so in the in the regular game you're just fighting the humans that are turned into deadites. So sure. in this one, it's nature is coming after you. So you've got mm. the squirrels, nature the always deer. comes after me. Squirrels. Yeah. I like the deer. They're pretty good. There's a Kendarian demon. Mm -hmm. I want to see that Henrietta. Where's she hiding at? Ooh, there's some shotguns. Shotguns. Henrietta. Oh, I think probably. Sweet. Yep. Bad Ash. Very nice. There's an axe. Wait, something's missing. It's not on that base. Is it oh, it's a chainsaw. A chainsaw? Came chainsaw? Off. Yeah, a chainsaw <laughs> came off the base. It wasn't us, Pete. <laughs> right? I swear. <laughs> oh, that's the dagger. Okay, I was like, where's the uh, Kandarian dagger? Did you show Henrietta off? Not yet. How about a squirrel? Get a squirrel in mm -hmm. there. I like the squirrels. So we got some barricades, got some stuff, some new events. The nice thing is that it looks like you could just, all of these extras would fit into this box. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty, I'd be, I'd pretty be careful easily. about those weapons, though. I would too. Again, I these minis are going to be a little more delicate than uh, than whatever type of plastic that like Simon or Fantasy Flight tends to use. Sure. There's Show not as weapon. much. There's not as much detail on these guys, but that doesn't. I think it's enough detail. I think oh, that's. I think sure. that's the important thing. I like the. Yeah. Um, you have another axe over there, right? I like the yes. cut in the ground. Oh with sure. The axe. It looks it looks nice. That was a yep. little detail they didn't have to add in there. I don't know if you'll get you guys will be able to see it, but Yeah, I don't think these are I've definitely seen worse uh miniatures sure. in games. And I think that especially if uh you're somebody that can paint and you can paint them up, yeah. you're gonna really you're gonna be able to cover that up. <laughs> you're gonna be able to make them look pretty good uh pretty easily. And this is kind of something you guys were talking about the other day when you had your mansions discussions. Uh with a property like this, you kind of want to be able to oh, be sure. that character and have yeah. that the the that Venn character diagram on the board. Of yeah. People that want an Evil Dead board game, people that want <laughs> miniatures of Evil Dead, <laughs> right? It has a very big intersection. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's the same. Well, what, yeah. I was gonna say, what's the same? One circle. circle. Yeah. <laughs> it is one circle. So I, I definitely, there is uh, plenty in this box. To keep me interested. Sure. And uh, looks like this would be fun to play. Because I think it's co-op until it's not, right? I think it's co-op until people start turning into bad guys. Unless the sure. bad guys just become... Correct. Uh, That's what it looks like. So, computer control. Evil Dead 2 the board game is a wild romp through the cult classic film. Players will fend off deadites, search the cabin for items and nev Necronomicon pages, and attempt to close the portal before evil is unleashed upon the world. But beware, you can't trust everyone. And at a moment's notice, you might find that your allies are working for evil. Bum, so yeah, so bum, castle defense bum. with, with a searching the house for items kind of thing. Probably a race against the clock. Like it keeps getting worse so and worse. So how many worse. other kind of castle defense type board games like this are you guys aware of? Well, Stronghold is like the castle defense game. Okay. It's literally a castle defense game. Castle Panic. Castle Panic. And versions of, point. said versions of. Um, there are some tower defense games. That's what I mean when I say castle defense. I guess tower defense is the more popular term because of video games. Mm -hmm. But right. I originally heard it as castle defense. Right. But um, I'm trying to think. I don't think it was Jasco Games. There's another company, um, Pandemonium, or a, a game called Pandemonium, where it's like horror themed. And so you've got, and it, it looks kind of similar where it's like there, there's monsters spawning out of different portals, but the monsters are like Cenobites from Hellraiser, <laughs> or I think there's like Chucky. So they've got like oh, IPs. Got oh, they actually have IPs. Pretty sure. Oh, cool. Pretty sure. Okay. I'll have to verify. Yeah, sure. Trust, but verify, no, right? His name's like, <laughs> like Chunky. Chunky, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Ugh. But uh, so I can't even go anywhere with that. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah. Can't even yes and you. Um, but yeah, so if, if you are a fan of Evil Dead, I'm just going to say at a glance without having played this yet, I would check this out. Um, I need to play it. I want to play it. Yeah. The nice thing is looking at it. It does not look super hard to learn. <laughs> and we all know Pete wants to play it. <laughs> we do know Pete wants to play it. They're, but I, I mean, I'm a big fan of games that give you nice player aids. Yeah. Right. I'm and wondering if those just like kind of circle the board where everyone can see them, kind of thing. Yeah, or probably. are they all the same? They're all the same. So it looks like they're all the, all the same. Okay, looks yeah, like so everyone can get like their own. Okay. Yep. Thing unless, yeah. No, it's perfect yeah. because there's like a Necronomicon page which could which can give you spells, and it tells you so what you are need. They all the same. Yeah, it looks like they're all the same. Yeah. So that's awesome. Identify dead to find so the, the player count. The theme. The theme looks like it runs very strong in this, right? Like, like it looks like it's on point. Everything, as a fan, personally, of the Evil Dead franchise, um, all of this stuff is, like, kind of in the movies, you know, so it makes sense. I would hope so. <laughs> Listen here, buddy. <laughs> Listen here. But uh, that's just a real quick uh, look. Do you want up. this, Pete? Because we can just throw it out if you don't want it. No, he wants it because it's got <laughs> the... Uh, because he waited years, I think is what you meant to say. Right. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you if you bought the game but did not buy the extras pack, it'll let you see what the extras pack does. And there's also a book, the Sinistory, Story, hardcover book mm. that they put out called Dead by Dawn. Whoa. Which also makes sense. That was close. You're right. Dead by Daylight. It's close. Close. But guys, that's Evil Dead. It's Evil Dead. Two. Shout out to Jasco. Yeah. So the awesome people at Jasco Games, nice. regardless of what you think of the game or um, even the if you don't like this or that or the gameplay, the fact that these people salvaged yeah. all of these other people, poor people's uh, Kickstarter pledges from the original Kickstarter is amazing and super awesome of them. So they already kind of have like a good a check on the on the good side, regardless of what gameplay or uh, you know what you think of that. So. Yeah. Anyways, so thanks to my buddy Pete for letting me open up his Kickstarter. Dan's pointing at you. Just you know, <laughs> he means it. And uh, that's been it from this unboxing of the board game rundown. Good Man, job. I need to practice no. more. Hey, it's only episode two. I've been Tim. I've been Jeff. I've been Dan. And I'll still be Tim tomorrow. I'll see you next time. Groovy. <laughs> Thanks for checking out the Board Game Rundown. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Share our videos on social media and spread the word. We publish new content weekly, including reviews, unboxing, and Let's Plays. And as always, thanks for watching.